Hi everybody, this is Summer, Lactation Consultant with Done Naturally. Welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about something really quick. So, antibiotics and mastitis. Antibiotics do not reduce milk supply, period. This is going on a lot. There's a lot of talk about whether or not when you have mastitis, the antibiotics reduce the supply. Not a thing. Guess what reduces your milk supply? Mastitis or a plug duct. That's what reduces the supply, not the antibiotics. You need the antibiotics, trust the antibiotics. This helps you get through mastitis. But what's happening during mastitis or a plug is milk is stuck, bound up inside of there. This is why we call it mastitis, because it is milk stasis, clogged, bunched up, can't get out. And when that happens, the milk flow is slower. I want you to think about a highway. When you get on the highway early in the morning before rush hour, there's not a lot of traffic. So you get on that highway and you just blow through and get right to where you're going super fast. That is what milk is like when you are not mastitis ridden or plugged. It flows great. What mastitis is like and a plug is traffic jam on a highway. Imagine getting on right during rush hour and you're barely moving. All the cars packed in really close and tightly. Nobody's moving. That is mastitis. That is a plug duct. So you need all that milk or traffic to get out of there. And the antibiotics will help, as will more frequent milk removal, hot diaper, massage, plank breastfeeding, all of those things can help, but you have to get the milk moving and flowing back to that open highway. So antibiotics, absolutely necessary. They do not reduce your supply. It is the mastitis itself. During mastitis and even during plugs, milk also tastes saltier because of the infection. Sometimes babies don't like that taste, so it can be kind of tricky to get them to feed because A, the milk is, flow is slower, and B, it doesn't taste the same as it did before, but vitally important to get it moving. So, we all clear, antibiotics do not cause milk reduction at all but the mastitis or the plug does. So avoiding that as much as possible is key. And the way to do that is keep milk moving. So keep your breast pumping as regular as it always is. Keep breastfeeding like you normally do with your routine. If you're away from baby, you better mimic what you normally do when you're with baby or else you are at risk. Other things. A baby carry that applies certain pressure to your breast can do that. Lying on your stomach, lying on your side, infrequent milk removal, a skipped breastfeeding, a skipped pump, those kind of things can cause it. So try to avoid those things. But remember, it's not the antibiotics. It's the plug and the milk stasis. So get it out. And once you're recovered, milk supply will rebound as long as you kept the frequency there. It might take a little bit for your body to recover, so recognize that, give yourself grace. If someone has recurrent mastitis, recurrent plug ducts, it could be that that side is impacted from then on and always will make a little bit less milk, but the key there would be to figure out why we're having the recurrent plug or the recurrent mastitis. What's the actual cause? And then figuring that out and then preventing those recurring infections and plugs. So that's all I got today. Antibiotics we need during mastitis and they absolutely do not reduce your supply. That's what I got. So you guys have a really great day. I will see you later in another one of my videos and don't forget, subscribe. See ya.